So what we, you see here is the 8-inch arm pistol kit for the Urban Combat slide. It comes in two color, it comes in black and a dies. That's to keep the cost low, and so people like to uh, circle whatever color they want, they can do that, and it comes in a agency gray. Agency gray, in the whole world, there's only two places they can get this color. Blown Deadlines and RWA, because they just say I'm authorized these two colors to us. All right. So that's gonna bump up the price point by around 80 US dollar more. Um, what you're not seeing here though is the Agent Sound membership. Okay, membership, it's Agent Sound said that they'd like to extend the membership to the airsoft community as well. So the member ID is confidential, so you can't really see it obviously. Uh, but then when you get the kit, it's gonna arrive like this, right? Comes with an adjustable trigger, magwell, weather housing, recall spring guide as well, uh, the outer barrel. Outer barrel is stainless steel, so no matter how you rack it, it's gonna be very, very durable. It's not gonna come off. Suppressor sights, so in case if you want to put in an RMR, you don't have to change out the sights. Okay? Even the real gun does that. It comes with battle plate, as you can see. Now what you see on display here is the agency gray color. It comes in black. Now, you're probably wondering, what is this model? Now, there's a little story behind this. One of the owners of Agency Arms, uh, Michael Parks, his father passed down a pistol to him, a Glock to him. And he would like to pass down this pistol to his son in the future, but he'd like to add his own history to it. So he has his uh, co-worker, his partner, Randy, design a special design. And this is a special design. So in the real seal, it's not even out yet. This slide is called the Legacy Slide. So, as you can see here, a little bit difference. The, cut, the top slide is ported instead of a regular cut, okay, and there's no RMR. In terms of airsoft, this uses a 17 blowback housing, so it actually performs better than the uh, 18C housing. So this is more performance-based pistol. We don't have a release date yet. We don't know when this is going to be released yet. This is just a production sample, but we are definitely releasing this for now. This is a more popular model right now. This is a different model right now. Uh, we launched the CNC Steel. It was a big hit. People liked it a lot. Now, what a lot of people didn't know that they said, oh, it's so expensive again. Then what they didn't know that it's actually a Tokyo Marie system, but running CO2. Yeah. RWA basically re-engineered everything inside to make it more enforcement. Uh, re reinforce everything to make it stronger. Now, we know people like that, but people like it a little bit blink, but on the subtle side. So we're thinking about launching a CNC Steel, which is this model right here. Uh, it's more durable, it's classier, it's more a gentleman looking model. Oh, so that's what everyone's been waiting for. It's a tri shot, so each time you fire it's a three round. And then uh, the magazine itself rules 90 rounds. So in reality, this gun only shoots 30 rounds. Because each time you shoot three rounds, anyways. There's a rail to it, when you insert to it. Now, I've always been curious about it. <laughs> yeah. pop up. There's three adjustments for each inner barrel. There's three inner barrels inside, so you can adjust the spread to it. So I on the other side. Safety, semi, oh, sorry. Safety, semi, pull auto. Okay. This trick, this gun comes pre-installed with a MOSFET in it, so the trigger spawn each time it completes a full cycle. Now, in the back here, Tokyo Mori suggested using a NICAD battery instead of using a LiPo because there's a detector, detector inside. If the pressure is too high, it will not make the gun uh, run. If the uh, electricity, electricity pressure is too, 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 too low, sorry, I'm talking today. You mean the current? Yep, the current is too low, it will not work as well. Yeah. So that's why they always suggest is running the 8.4 nightcap battery. Everything is a very solid build. Uh, polymer, plastic, uh, casing. The only problem is... This is the GHK AUG gas blowback version that is amazing. You would find this body, something like on an AUG, but this one is actually really solid. The metal, receiver, and outer barrel, very good quality. And the takedown is much like the real steel version as well. So I've been told, I've never taken down the real steel version, but it's very good. You see, mag release right behind the magazine. Pull, the charging handle back, do you mind holding this for a sec? This dial here, pull, turn, remove the barrel. And the hop-up adjustment dial is right here. Insert back in. Bob's your uncle. The bolt right there. The hammer sounds a bit naff. But 
it does have a two stage trigger as well. Just make sure that this is protruding on the left side. If you want semi, you just pull it slightly. If you want full auto, pull it all the way back. And it has a times 1.5 type scope with a circular reticle like you would find on a regular AUG. And it is fantastic. It shoots at around 330 FPS, I believe. And it's very accurate.